Happy World Book Day. I wanted to share my favorite story with you today. Um, and before I do that, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about the author. So this story, Oh, The Places You'll Go, is written by Dr. Seuss. Now, Dr. Seuss was a pseudonym, one of three pseudonyms, actually, for a man who was a um, American children's author, a cartoonist, an illustrator, a poet, an animator, and a filmmaker. And his name was Theodore Seuss Geisel. And he actually wrote under um, three pseudonyms and Dr. Seuss was one of them. Now, he wasn't a real doctor. Um, his dad would have liked for him to have studied medicine and to become a real doctor, um, but he wasn't in fact. So he used that as a shout out to his dad to say, I know you wanted me to be a doctor, but I'm doing this instead. And I think he, he chose the right career path. Um, and speaking of choices, this story that I'm going to share with you today, um, it's all of, it's, it's got a really meaningful message. So a lot of um, Dr. Seuss's stories, um, they've got beautiful illustrations in them and lots of color and lines and um, rhyming words. And, but it's, when you read them off the bat, it might seem a bit silly and a bit gobbledygook, but actually, all of the stories have got an underlying meaning. So you have to really um, read between the lines and think about, uh, get the real message and think about what that message is. So today's story, the message, is a very meaningful message. It's all about the importance of seizing the day and seizing new opportunities and having an open mind and trying new things in life. And I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. I'm not going to read the whole story because it is a very, very long book, but I'll read a couple of my favorite bits to you. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who'll decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. Okay, so that's all about choices, isn't it? And we have, a, if you have a look here, you can see the illustrations as we go through the book, they're beautiful. He uses pastel colors, lots of different characters, um, strange looking elephants and lots of different lines and colors, as I mentioned before. And as we go through the story, you can have a look and see how the illustrations actually um, become darker. Um, and so I'll read this, I'll read a part over here to you. So you'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. So he's talking here about the ups and downs and more the downs of life. And you can see this is um, illustrated in the pictures, how the pictures become a little bit darker. Okay. Um, very interesting to see and have a look. If you're interested in art and illustration, because books aren't just about words, they're also about pictures, okay? And um, you can, if you're interested in illustrations, he's a brilliant author to go and have a look, an illustrator to go and have a look at his, um, his characters. And you should recognize them straight away because he's definitely got his own flair, his own style that he, that he uses, okay? So we're just coming to the part that I'm going to read to you now. You can see lots of different characters. Here we go. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with great, step with care, sorry, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? 
Yes, you will. Indeed. 98 and three quarter percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. Now, this is quite a funny illustration. If you look over here, it's actually the, the person, the character in the book is actually moving a mountain. I don't think that when Theodore Geisel wrote this book that he expected anybody to move mountains. There's definitely a hidden meaning there. He's cheering you on and saying, if you want to succeed, you make good choices. You absolutely, 98 and three quarter percent will succeed. And this is probably um, my favorite part, the ending, the, my favorite part of the whole, the whole story. So I'll read it to you. So, be your name Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray, or Mordecai Alley Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So, get on your way. <laughs> what a wonderful story. I hope you enjoyed that with me today, West Acton. I'm, I'm really looking forward to World Book Day and celebrating with everybody. And I hope you are too. Have a fantastic time and read lots of books. Go on an adventure with Dr. Zeus. See you later. Bye.